Good morning, everybody. It is Vlogmas Day 2. This morning we are going to the gym. Shall we pick me up? I look rough, but that's literally because I woke up like literally 20 minutes ago and edited the first day of Vlogmas and put it up. So we're running out the door. I look bald. Sorry about it. Not sorry about it. Here's Shelby. <laughs> Vlogmas day two and she's already with me once again. This morning we are going to Walmart to get C4 to be energized. And I'm gonna be showing you guys my workout routine. I might do like a little voiceover over everything that I do just because there's so many people at my gym sometimes and I don't wanna talk and make it awkward for myself or for anybody else in the background. So we'll see what kind of it is ends up being. But this is my workout routine. A lot of you guys have asked for it. Um, even family members and friends have asked for me to do it. We are not professional workout people at all, you'll see. And we do do the whole body in like one day, but we do focus on certain parts of the body. We would do workout every single thing. We body. get so much crap from you, they're like, why don't you do like legs one day and like arms one day and like core one day? We don't have everything. enough stuff. <laughs> to do to do in one day yeah what we do works for us and maybe it'll work for you but we focus on everything but every day there is something that we probably mainly do more of so yeah that's just a little disclaimer oh yeah our guy friends had us do arms the other day we rarely do arms because we more focus on like our legs our butt and our abs and we couldn't move our arms so like it was bad yeah for like a week, yeah, like a week. yeah so if you want to see my workout routine, keep on watching. It'll be great. We have arrived. All right, this is going to be one of the weirdest voiceovers ever, but here we are. We're at the gym. First off, we're going to start off with some cardio. Usually I do the Stairmaster, but today I decided to do the treadmill. And I'm going to start off with a level three speed. And I do this because I like to alternate between running and walking. So first I'm going to start off with a slow walk. Usually I do that for about two minutes and then I will start running for about another two minutes. And I just go back and forth between these. Usually do this for about 10 minutes and I feel like that's enough time for cardio. Then we're gonna go to the adductors and these are gonna help your inner thighs. I put this on 75 pounds. I probably should have done lighter, but I did not. It felt killer, but this usually does help you gain muscle in your inner thighs. You will definitely be feeling this in the morning. I usually do these in sets of 10. And then we're gonna go over to the calves, and I did put this on 190 pounds. No way I'm not crazy. I'm usually doing it at 175, but I decided to go up because I wanna see if I could lift that much. And I could. These are just little calf raises. I feel like they're not super hard to do. I went a little bit faster because they were burning my calves a lot. And I usually do these in sets of 10. Then we're gonna go do some thigh workouts. I don't know what these are called, but these are Shelby's favorites. I guess they're like leg lifts. I do this on 40 pounds and I do these in sets of five because they are killer. Then we're gonna be doing the abductors. This is gonna be helping your hip dips and I do this on 75 pounds, sometimes 80. Today I was feeling 75. These help get rid of your hip dips. I've noticed a difference in my hips, not necessarily the dip part, but I do see it becoming more muscular. And this is probably one of my favorite workout machines. Now we're going into this room. Anybody can work out in here, but me and Shelby like to do our ab workouts in here. It's just more private and secluded. We always grab a mat and we head over to the floor and set up. Get ready because there is actually a lot of ab workouts to do. We're gonna be starting off with Russian twists. These help your obliques a lot and also help your muffin top and your core. And we do these about 50 times. Then we're gonna be going into sit-ups with this weight. This is an 11 pound weight and we usually do this about 10 times. After that, we go straight into sit-ups and we're gonna crunch up into our knees. We do these about 15 times each and seriously, these help my lower abs so much. It's hard for girls especially to kind of tighten that lower ab area, but these, you will feel it. 
Then we're gonna go into leg pulses. What I like to do is I'll start on the left or the right. It doesn't really matter. I'll pulse eight times and then I'll hold at the top and then I'll pulse again another eight times and then I'll switch to the right side and do the same thing again. Next, we're gonna be doing some bicycles. These used to be my worst enemy. Shelby would make fun of me for the way I did them, but we're doing them. And we do about 50 of these as well. And these are killer for my back and my neck, but it really does help tighten your core. Next, me and Shelby are going to be doing mountain climbers for 30 seconds on the right side. And then we're gonna be doing these for 30 seconds also on the left side. And then we're going to be finishing off with holding a plank for 30 seconds right after that. And by then, we're pretty much dead and tired. Now we're gonna put these mats away and we're gonna go into some bicep workouts. These are the workouts we were talking about earlier. Our guy friends had us do them and we felt like our arms were broken for about a week, but we do see some muscle definition. Basically what we're doing here is we are doing count ups and then countdowns to eight. So we start with doing one and then I do one and then she does two and then I do two. We do the all the way up to eight. Once we get to eight, we go back down to one. Then after that, we're going to be doing some squat lunges with these weights on each side. We do across eight, and then we come back and do eight. And we probably go across the floor about three times. Then we are going to leave the room and go over to the squat racks. These can look intimidating, I know. But we usually do 25 pounds on each side. This is about 95 pounds in total. I know it's not a lot. We are little girls. We are still trying. But we're going to be doing some squats you have to be careful with your form. I'm probably not the best. I'm still a beginner, but we squat about seven times each. And then we're gonna be doing deadlifts as well with a little bit less weight. So we have 15 on each side now. And this one, you need to be careful of your form because people hurt their back a lot doing these. Then we're going to be doing another one of my favorite machines. I don't know what this is called, but I do know this helps your hamstrings and your glutes a lot. Whitney, Sim Whitney Simmons does these and she looks amazing. So we do 10 pounds. So we do about like 20 pounds and we do this seven times each on each side. And that's about it for the workout. We are just going to be rolling out our muscles now because we did way more of a workout than we usually do. And we are just goofing around and that's about it for the workout. Thank you. That was the longest workout of my life. We worked out for like an hour and a half, Longer two hours. Oh my hours. God. Cool. That was a two hour workout routine put into like, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but we did a lot and we do total all body. So yeah, but I mainly did everything in this video just to show you guys what I do on a daily basis. On a daily basis. And we're not professional. Do not judge my form. Where's here. the car? <laughs> oh, we're lost. Okay. Um, yeah, don't judge our forms. We're not professional like I already said, so. It's to help you start out your vlogmas. Okay, it's so. Not that exciting. Okay, I'm gonna vlog because I'm vlogging today. I was about to end my vlog, and my mother, she doesn't want to be seen, but she brought me a gift. So, I'm gonna open it to start up. I'm not showing you, it's okay. on me. <laughs> this is so cute! Mom, it's an Ulta Beauty thing should i do this it's an advent calendar right it's a 12 days of christmas so should i do this start <laughs> vincent is so loud that should i do brother. this starting on the 12th yes it's the 12 days of christmas my true love gave to me oh thank you mom you are my true love i was just telling my mom that i wanted an advent calendar for vlogmas that's the only one i could find that is girly this like, is that so cute, cute. Stuff. thank you mom okay we can't look on the back okay i won't look on the back let, let it be it's a so surprise cute, though i love this I guess this was a good way to end my vlog. I looked crusty in that last clip. I don't know why the back camera, the back camera, the back camera makes me look so crusty, but yes. Thank you guys so much for watching Vlogmas day two. I love Vlogmas. I'm so excited for it. I, I don't know. If you want to see more Vlogmas from me, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video this month. It's gonna be a freaking great time over here and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.